all right welcome back to another video today we're doing the oil catch can on the mark 5 gti same one as the last video so first we're just going to start off pretty much assembling it there's not many pieces just whatever you see on this table these are the tools obviously yeah there's not much to it let's get started all right so this is the only one that we're actually going to be taking way. off and then flipping like literally flipping it around and then putting it on the way it's supposed to be, or the way it's, they need us to. So I'm using this flathead to kind of spread them apart, just like that. We can get it just way. enough to remove it off the line. Just like that. And now we're gonna tighten those screws down. All right, so Tony's tightening that down. While he's doing that, I'll explain to you guys what's gonna happen next. So that hold down clamp that we moved earlier, and this hold down clamp that we uh, flipped earlier, they're gonna be sitting on top of each other. So you're gonna put one screw in this hole with these two on it. So after everything's done, this is what your hoses should look like. This one should look like that. Yep. You should take it out, flip it, put it back in. This one gets slid down and yeah, flipped the other way, but this one, take it just out. Just like this it. one, take it out and flip it so they're facing in kind of like a weird butterfly angle. While you're screwing it in, have a friend or use your hand to hold them straight like this because you don't want this thing facing in this direction while you're screwing it in. Next step is just plugging everything in. That's good. And then we'll get this clamp in right here. Just like that. Perfect. So now we're going to be connecting the feed line, which is right here, this 90 degree fitting. Lube it with oil, nice fresh oil. We're going to put it on the bottom connector, not this one, but the bottom. All right. So the next step is before you put the return line in, we're going to take this and now I'm going to show you why we relocated these lines. It's because there's a lot more space for the feed line and the return line to fit through here and be routed to where this catch can is going to sit. Best way to put it through is kind of like push on this a little bit and you can kind of just put it through. through better. Yeah. Then you're gonna put it underneath the fuel lines. Use your bolts. Oh, yeah. Give them to my lovely assistant. Do one. Make sure your gaskets are in good condition too, which they are. So now just kind of don't go too tight. So strip it. Do you want it evenly? Because you got the gaskets, you kind of want to evenly distribute it. Okay. Now we're gonna go a little bit tighter. That's it. You don't want to go too much. This torque spec is like 30 inch pounds, I think. So it's like nothing. All right, and that's on there. This O-ring is just like not wanting to get on there. All right, so the O-rings on here. Be careful because they will bulge. They do not want to go in too easy. So I recommend oil it up pretty good. Like I said, like, always take your time. If something's not going in right, don't force it. So you will ruin something. All right, so the next step is getting these this return line fitted in. So we're going to lead this one in backwards or forwards. We can do whichever. We'll put a little brake cleaner on that. It's going to be going the exact same way the feed line is at. Underneath the fuel lines, underneath the engine mount, and right up to this corner. And we're going to thread it in like that. Okay, so now it's like tight like that. Just give it a little snug and that's it. You do not want to strip these because then you have to buy yourself a new one. All right, so we're going to be utilizing the pre-existing hole. Let me just put this down real quick. On the engine mount right here, this pre-existing screw area and this hole down here on the body. It's going to be sitting like this. All right, so now the bolt that comes with it you just kind of scoot into the body. There's just a hole that's already there from the factory. It's not even used for anything. And it's got threads too, so just gonna thread it in there. Don't go too tight. Tight like that. And now they give you a nut. And that goes right here. That's it. Nice. Now the next steps is just putting the catch can on, getting the feed and return lines in, and starting it up. All right, so you're going to be removing the O-ring that it comes with, lubing it up with some oil, putting the O-ring back on. I lost my gloves. Oh, I'm just going to dip it in there. 
It's not the proper way to do it, but I'm just doing it this way. Yeah, anyway, it works. All right, after almost losing the seal in here. <laughs> That's why you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Got the O-ring back on. All right, so we're actually putting the O-ring in the reservoir. It sits a lot sits more flush. Right here. Yeah, this way it'll actually seal. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and mount it. This is, this is the return line. This is the feed line. The return line is going to be going right here. Now go ahead and just connect them before installing because it's going to make it a lot easier once you put everything together. It's much easier than just putting the catch can on and fully mounting it and then getting the screws threaded in. All right, so now I just kind of don't want to go too tight. And we're just going to be threading on the bottom of the catch can. Okay, now the bottom is threaded in. And that's what's going to look piece like. Last of the puzzle. Put that baby in there. That's Thread right. it in, and that is that. That is what's going to look like. Everything's all snug, put together. All right, uh, this concludes the two part series on installing an intake, a diverter valve, and an oil catch can onto this Mark V GTI. This thing sounds better, and it's going to be performing better uh, as long as the maintenance is kept up with the catch can. Yeah, and that's another thing we forgot to mention. You do have to dump this. That's what the dipstick is for. There's a line, actually, I'll show you right now. The line, once it gets to the line, you need to dump it out. So that's when you unscrew it from the bottom, take it, dump it. It's your choice where you dump it. You're supposed to recycle it. Yep. And uh, so I guess from personal experience, when I had my GTI with a catch can, uh, it's recommended in the winter time when it starts getting really cold, uh, start dumping it out more often. You're probably not going to touch it too much during the summer, spring months, but in the winter, definitely keep an eye on that disc dipstick whenever you get a chance, once a week uh, minimum, and uh, just to make sure you're keeping up, because it will fill up with a lot of sludge, especially in the winter time. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys in the next video.